We are in with the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, as we have gathered around this altar of the Lord to offer this Eucharistic sacrifice, I invite all of you to thank the Heavenly Father for all the blessings He has shown upon us, despite our unworthiness and sinfulness. And also to ask God's forgiveness for the sins we have committed against God, against our own brothers and sisters, against ourselves, and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in a moment of silence, now let us accept our own conscience. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have prayed to do, through my God, through my God, through my most gracious God. Therefore, I have spent a great devotion, all angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Yeah. 
Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will a ball of fall into a pit? What disciple is superior to the teacher? But when full training, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden thing in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove the splinter in your eye, when you don't even notice the wooden thing in your own eye? You evil, remove the wooden thing from, from your eye first. Then you will sincerely remove the splinter in your brother's eye. For tree does not bear root in fruit, nor does a good tree bear fruit in it. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grass, grapes from ramble. Good person has the store of goodness in his heart produces fruit. But an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. The gospel of Jesus. Today is the eighth Sunday in the Rehab. All of us know very well and also heard many times in the gospel. Once there was a Pharisee lawyer who wanted to go the greatest of all the commandments. So he approached Jesus and questioned him, Master, which is the greatest of all the commandments. Jesus' simple answer was, Love the Lord your Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your heart. He did not stop with that. He said, Love one another, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Because the question was, which is the greatest commandment in the law? So he stick to that law and said, First is loving God, second is loving our neighbor. Loving the neighbor as we love ourselves. So, dear brothers and sisters, Christianity is a religion of relationships. A religion of relationships. First is our relationship with God. Second is our relationship with our own brothers and sisters. In our first relationship with God, it is God the Father Himself who tells us about His Godship. When He gave the command, Ten Commandments, on the first commandment He said, I am the Lord your God. You shall not have strange gods beside me. So there is simple commandment. So in the sixth chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, very clearly it is found God the Father giving the explanation. He says, I am the Lord your God. 
who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. What God the Father did to the Israelites. You shall not have other gods beside you. I, I was the one who helped you. Now it is your turn to treat me as your God. Then further he says, you shall not make for yourselves an idol or a likeness of anything in the heavens above or the earth below or the water beneath the earth. Beneath the earth. So he says, now, I brought you out from the bondage of Pharaoh and I freed you. So dear children, he was telling the Israelites, now it is your turn to show your gratitude to me. First it was the commandment. Now just consider what I have done to you. So therefore don't think of any other God. And this is all the correct relationship with God. Christianity is a religion of relationships. The first relationship is the correct relationship with God. At times we also have our own other gods taking your own wealth. Maybe your own uh, children. Or you come here and after that go to some other church for some other purpose. In that church, maybe priests are doing things for you to exist here. So you make the God of that religion as your God. So this God the Father says the correct relationship with God the Father. And that is the greatest of all the commandments. Then Jesus' time and before him was the relationship with own brothers and sisters was love your neighbor as you love yourself. But Jesus said, I will give you a new command. Love one another as I have loved you. When you love your neighbor as yourself, there is not of judgment. There is not of inquisitiveness in the lives of others in a wrong way. So Jesus says, don't look at the speck that is in your brother's side. First, look at the log in your own eye. Very simple. He preached this parable some 20 centuries ago. Still, the message is not outdated. Because the word of God never gets outdated. No expiry date for the word of God. Always valid. Even today, we find our own people being inquisitive of others in the wrong way. Sometimes they look, they see the speck in the brother's side. What they do? Jesus said, before you remove the speck out of your own, out of your brother's side, you take the log out. But those people, they don't remove the speck out from their eye. They magnify it. Then they are after sensationalizing. Then broadcasting. Causing huge damage to persons. So during the time of peace,
Jesus, I think it was not as severe as it is happening today. So that is why he says, Then before you take the speck from your brother's eye, take the log from your own eye. And it is very fast. So that means, what does this mean? When we love in the love, when we love persons in the way Jesus loves us, Jesus never gives us a license to judge others. No license for us to judge others. He says, turn all the search lights on yourself and look into yourself and remove your sinfulness from your own being. And this is my spiritual uh, surgery. I have to do a spiritual surgery quite often. I have to look at my own life and remove my own sins. There are two things in my church. God's mercy is given there. You can make a confession, a sincere, honest confession, then God forgives you unconditionally. He is the only one who forgives us seventy times seven. We have that freedom. I know all of you present here have the experience of making a good confession. So all of us have experienced the bliss of having a good confession. So very clearly Jesus is saying, don't judge your own, judge yourself. The second part of the gospel speaks about the fruits. The tree is known by its fruit. Every disciple, during the time of Jesus, those people to whom he addressed. Today, we are his disciples. He says, the tree is known by its fruit. What does it mean, the fruit? When you live in the commandment of love given by Jesus, love one another as I have loved you, then you bear fruit in your own life. Those people, that people when they see and experience the love that you live in your own personal life, they see the fruits of living in the love of Jesus. To their brothers and sisters, I also see so many posts on the Facebook to say, I am proud to be a Catholic. I am proud to be a Some people are here. But I haven't seen them coming from us on Sunday. They say, I am proud to be a Catholic. But what is more important is not to be a Christian or a Catholic. Each one of us must tell oneself, I must be a faithful disciple of Christ. Taking up the cross and following me. And also as one, living the commandment of love just as Jesus has given to all of us. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. And help us to bear fruits in, this, in living this commandment. So, then accordingly, when we live our lives in the quality of love, just as the tree is known by its fruits, disciples of Jesus are also known 
by the quality of love. I believe in one God, Father Christ, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, died from God, died from God, true God from true God, begotten and made to the Son of the Father, doing all things for me, for us men and for our salvation. Yeah. 